Hey everybody, welcome to the second edition of the SID Classroom. Uh, today we're in Photoshop once again, and we're going to call this one When Good Photos Go Bad. Uh, how to save um, good photos that aren't quite what they could be. Uh, we're going to do uh, a couple techniques today. Uh, talk about levels, uh, talk about color balance, uh, transform tool, and uh, finally cropping. Um, we're also going to get into layers and uh, adjustment layers. Again, there's a lot of Photoshop tutorials on, on YouTube, much better than this. Um, if you really want to delve into this stuff, uh, just search for, for what you're looking for. Uh, again, there's some great stuff out there, but I really want to present some stuff that uh, SIDs face every day um, and some techniques that, that can help you out and hopefully save you a little bit of time. So here we have uh, Team Photo, uh, women's basketball team this year, um, and I took this photo uh, in the gym. Uh, my flashes weren't working out the way I wanted to that day for whatever reason, so I took this shot uh, with available light, um, and you can see it's pretty dark. There's a bunch of stuff wrong with this picture. It's dark. Um, it's uh, The color balance is all wrong. It's, it's yellow, as you can see, um, and uh, it's crooked. Um, you know, the yellow thing, that happens a lot in gyms. Um, you have the fluorescent lights, and uh, digital cameras don't know how to process that with their white balance. So we'll learn how to fix that. Um, and uh, also show you how to, uh, you know, kind of uh, bring some lightness back to this photo. So the first thing we want to do, uh, we already have our photo open. Uh, we're going to want to open up our layers palette. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, it's in Window Layers. You can hit F7 is the hotkey, or also on the uh, right-hand side, uh, you can just hit Layers in the toolbar over here. And again, I'm using Windows CS, uh, Windows XP, uh, uh, Photoshop CS3. Uh, this works exactly the same in CS2 or CS4. If you're on a Mac, this is pretty much all the same stuff. Uh, some of the, the key combinations that I mentioned might be a little bit different. Um, but again, all pretty much the same concept. So here uh, in the photo is this uh, one layer called background. Uh, we don't need to do anything to it. All we're going to do is adjustment layers. And adjustment layers are non-destructive, uh, which means we can turn them on, turn them off, modify them, get rid of them without harming the original photo. So we're not even going to do anything to the original photo. Um, you can also apply these same effects to the photo uh, without adjustment layers um, under image adjustments. But just for today, we're going to do adjustment layers. So at the very bottom of the layers palette, um, there is uh, this little icon down here. It's a circle um, that has uh, half black, half white, and that is uh, the Create New Filler Adjustment Layers. So you click on this, and there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do. Um, and we'll, we'll get into a couple of these, but the uh, one that we want to do first is Levels. So if you're not familiar with Levels, quick crash course on this um, is it basically adjusts the... Uh, the sat not the saturation, but the uh, the amount of uh, uh, whites, blacks, and then midtone grays in your image, um, and it's all controlled by this little slider. You have a histogram here, and this shows the prevalence of uh, pixels uh, going from dark on the left to light on the right. As we can see, this picture is extremely dark, uh, not a lot of midtones, and then absolutely nothing in the white range. So by pulling these sliders around, you can adjust this, and um, you know, this is, it completely depends on your image. You can certainly just play around with this, um, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, by making this, uh, or by pulling this over to the left on the whites, um, you can see I'm making the image uh, much lighter. I'm going to adjust the, uh, the middle a little bit. It makes it even more lighter. And uh, you can click and unclick the preview box down here, and you can see this is how we started. This is where we are right now. And I think in terms of uh, brightness, uh, this is pretty good. But you can still see it's yellow. Um, again, the, the fluorescent lights will do that. So uh, I want to take some of the yellow out of this photo. And up here in the channel box, there's a drop-down box. And right now it's an RGB, which means it's controlling the entire photo, all channels. But if I click on this box, I can control the red, the green, or the blue channels. So in this case, I want to uh, actually get rid of some of the green. So I'm going to just select the green channel. And again, uh, it depends on your photo, but just kind of play around with these sliders keep going just kind of till you know it looks good um, and I'll just move this around a little bit you can see it's actually getting redder uh, because it's pulling that green out and uh, you know that looks pretty good again we'll hit the preview see where we're at and I think color balance wise it looks good I'm gonna make this just a little bit lighter overall 
So I brought the RGB back in. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go with that. Hit OK. And again, we can start. That's where we started. This is where we are right now. But you know, to me, these colors look um, a little too colorful. Uh, court uh, kind of has that uh, like movie popcorn butter yellow color. Uh, everybody's faces are, are still a little bit yellow. Um, but they're pretty close. So what I want to do is I just kind of want to uh, pull a little bit of color out. So I'm going to do another adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to do hue and saturation. And I just want to desaturate this photo just a little bit. Uh, maybe like about minus 10 or so. And you can see the difference. Uh, it's not real dramatic, but it's just enough. Uh, this is where we started. You can see it's it's real uh, it's real yellow. Looking at the court, looking at the faces. If we desaturate a little bit, skin tones get a little bit more natural. Uh, the court isn't quite as uh, glaring yellow. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go with that. And um, you know, I think color wise and uh, brightness wise, this is a good looking photo. But again, there's. Uh, one other big thing wrong with this, and that is it's crooked, uh, because I have a complete inability to take a straight photo. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, fix this with the rotation tool. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform. Or actually, let me back up. We want to select the correct layer first, um, and we're going to want to promote this layer uh, so we can modify it. So we're going to want to double-click on the layer, hit OK. Now we want to go to Edit transform and uh, there's actually two ways you can do this you can do this in the free transform tool or you can go to transform and rotate and that's what we'll do right now and so these little handles come up and you see when you put your cursor over that you get uh, uh, a little rotation tool I'm just gonna uh, just eye this up not gonna get real exact um, that looks pretty good actually a little bit too much alright looks good double click on that when you're happy with it so that's good, and you can see now though, is uh, we have some of this white space up here and down there on the sides, and so uh, we're just going to crop that out. And I actually already have my crop tool selected. It's this guy right over here on your uh, toolbar. So I'll select the whole image, and then uh, you just want to pull this in uh, with the cropping frame. If you hold Shift uh, in Windows, it will actually keep the proportion correct. So I'm just going to pull this in a little bit. Uh, center it up on the basket because I'm OCD like that. And when you're happy with it, double click. And uh, there you have it. Um, you know, that's a, uh, a much, much better looking photo, again, than what we started with. Um, and that's certainly usable. I, I would totally use that on my website or anything like that. One other thing I want to do, um, and this is, a, this is an optional plugin. Uh, that you can buy. Uh, it's my favorite thing in the world, and, and if you have to beg or borrow 80 bucks to get this thing, do it. It's totally worth it. It's called Noise Ninja. And I'm actually just going to zoom in with the zoom tool so you can see this a little bit better. But you can see the uh, the ISO noise. I, I took this photo at a high ISO. Uh, I believe it's ISO 1250 on my camera, and, and you can see it's noisy. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's that grainy look. Well, Noise Ninja is great because it'll fix that. And if you have a dark gym like like I do, um, this plugin is absolutely worth it. Um, and so I'll just sh show you what it can do. It's usually the last thing I do to any image. Um, I'm just going to let it do it. It's not automatic. And I don't know if you can see this on YouTube. You may have to have this on, on, on HD. But it basically takes that noise away. It smooths it out. And it makes the whole thing look just a lot better. So there we have it. Um, that is how to fix um, a bad photo um, and make it into a better photo. Again, you could tweak this to your heart's content. The nice thing about adjustment layers is you could double click on, say, levels, and you can tweak this again. I mean, you can just keep doing this, keep doing this. It's non-destructive. Um, you can go back and, and you can add more on top of this if you want to... Uh, you know, uh, play around with uh, photo filters or your exposure or, or whatever. Um, you can do this all on top of that and, uh, you know, really uh, just play around with it to your heart's content. So hopefully you learned a little something today. Uh, you can apply these techniques in your office. If you want to see something else, email me, sidclassroom at gmail.com, and uh, we'll do some more videos. Thanks.